Hello, stock investors. This weekend, I was doing some stock research and came across this Investor's Business Daily article. Pinterest, Etsy among 23 stocks expecting 100% to 2,833% growth. If you're a long-term follower of my channel, you know I love fundamentally strong stocks and stocks with high growth potential. And I thought this was a great group of stocks to research. So I took the 23 stocks and culled the list down to my top six to buy this week. And there are some real winners in this grouping. In fact, all six of today's stocks were profitable last week and have been gaining more than 10% monthly for the last six months. All right, we're going to go at a quick pace today. And without further ado, here's our success story of the day. Air Tractor said UEC for the third time swinging. Time to buy and hold, accumulate on the dips. Air Tractor made a nice 36% profit on uranium energy. And this is a stock I love. In three months, their price has doubled. And there are so many ways to profit from stocks. And in a volatile market like we're having right now, swing trading is a great way to go. If you want to learn more about stock investing and technical analysis, check out my Patreon, where we provide you education, trading alerts, daily hot stocks, high growth portfolios to model, and we have a community to provide support and help answer questions. One of my trade alerts this week was up 34% in just two days. Well, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on, because this is not your normal stock channel. All right, welcome to Beast Mode Stock Analysis. On the left, we've got the Beast Mode Scorecard, which gives us a quick rundown on the fundamentals. And on the right, we've got the charts. And of course, the full Beast Mode is always much better, and you can get that inside my group if you're interested. All right, to start off, we're gonna look at Bunge Limited, ticker BG. Their current price is 76.58. 52-week range is 29 to 79. And the first thing I notice is they're available below both their estimated intrinsic value and the analyst target mean price. So that's a real plus. Next. Every stock we're looking at today has a low P.E. ratio, which means all of these stocks are profitable and making money. This one is at 9.6. Year to date, their stock gain is 18%. Over three months, they're up 31%. And over one year, they're up 70%. Their tattle ratio is good at 1.39. Their revenue growth last year was pretty slim at 0.6%. And it's going up just a little bit this year at 1.5%. Their net income margin is 2.8%. And their levered free cash flow is a little on the negative side at 9.4. When we come over here and we look at the charts, we've got the blue line, which is the 20 day moving average. The red is the 50 and these stocks, when they're in an upward trend, they will commonly trade right at or above that 20 day moving average. So here we've got it working just like clockwork. It came down, it tested that 50 day moving average and then it went right back up. Now it's coming down, testing that 20 day moving average as well. And would like to see that come back up, hopefully in conjunction with a MACD crossover. And that's going to be where the green line goes over the purple line. So that's what you want to look for when getting into this stock. Our second stock is Louisiana Pacific Corporation, ticker LPX. Current price, 47.61, 52-week range, 13 to $49. PE ratio is nice and low at 10.2. The year-to-date stock gain is 29%, which is quite strong. Over the last week, which was a down week for most stocks, they were up 1%. Over three months, they're up 40%. And over one year, they're up 71%, so quite solid. Their tattle ratio is very strong at 2.48. Their revenue growth last year was strong at 20.7, forecasted this year is another 13.4%. Net income margin is very nice at 17.9. So this is a very good profitable company and their levered free cash flow really nice at 20.9%. So they have more than enough cash coming in from general operations to pay all of their bills and run the company. So I love seeing their fundamentals right here. If we come over and we look at the charts, we can see they are in a very nice upward trend. They've been going up really nice. Even when the markets were down the last week to two weeks, these guys have been just going up nice and steady. So that's a real good thing. And we can see that their are D, they crossed over right down here closer to the beginning of February where they've just been in a nice upward trend since then and they're still going strong. Our third stock today is Regions Financial Corporation, ticker RF, and these guys are a huge Fortune 500 company that a lot of people have never heard of, which is kind of surprising. Uh, maybe it's just that their name's not that memorable, but let's take a look at the numbers. Their current price is $20.63. Their 52-week range is seven to $23. And check this out, they're currently trading right at $6 below their estimated intrinsic value, and the analyst target mean price is right at the current value right now. Their PE ratio is 20. Year-to-date, they're up 28% over the last 
last three months, 36%, and over the last year, 60%. Their tattle ratio is 1.14, and it's very common for financial companies, banks, those type in that sector to have a tattle ratio that's very close to one, so this is perfectly normal. The revenue growth last year was down 9.5%. This year, it will be up 25.6%. Net income margin, very profitable company, as is most banks and financial institutions, 22.1%. Leverage free cash flow is crazy high in a good way at 57%. Looking at the charts here, we've got a real nice upward trend. Same story. Our buying opportunity is going to be a bounce off that 20-day moving average, and it happens just like clockwork. Here it was, a little too much, too fast, came down, bounced right off it, and we're off to the races. Looking for the same thing to happen right now. Our fourth stock today is Kulik and Sofa Industries, ticker KLIC, and this is one of my favorites. These guys are really good. Their current price is $49.86, 52-week range is $17 to $53, and look at this. Their estimated intrinsic value, $46.24, analyst target mean price is $59.50, so that's really a good plus sign right there. Their P.E. ratio is 35.5. Year to date, the stock is up an impressive 57%. Over the last three months, 64%. And over one year, they have more than doubled, up 123%. Tattle ratio is very strong at 3.38%. And look at this. These types of growth numbers are not common for a low P.E. stock. So this is absolutely phenomenal. Last year, they were up 41.7%. This year, they're going to be up another 78%. Boom. Love it. This is something to get excited about. Their net Income margin is very good at 11.7%, levered free cash flow, plenty of cash to work with at 15.2%. And look at this same story on that upward trend. Everything's looking good. They came down, bounced off it, and now they're continue to be going up. Our number five stock is Textainer Group Holdings, ticker TGH, current price $2604. 52 week range, six to $29. Analyst target mean price, 33.50. So the analysts are expecting this to go much higher. That's a pleasant surprise. Our PE ratio is 18.1. Year to date, the stock is up 36%. And over the last year, they're up 216%. Their revenue growth last year was down just a little and their forecast this year is going to be 14.1%. Net income margin is good at 10.9%. Levered free cash flow is surprisingly weak, down negative 52.6%. All right, if we're gonna get technical on the math, their levered free cash flow is negative 52.6%. Okay, looking at the charts over here, they were pretty flat in a period of consolidation, dips down to just below that 50-day moving average, and now they've shot up, going strong, and now they're currently on a pullback. Wait for this to come back and start closing back higher before you jump into this one, and hopefully it's going to coincide. I wouldn't be surprised to see this MACD cross over below, just like it did here, and then we want to see it come back up, and if it goes from red to green, that's an ideal situation. And our final stock on the day is one that I know well, Deere & Company, ticker DE. This is the John Deere Tractor Company. They've been really doing great this year. Their current price is $349.12. Their 52-week range is 106 to 354 And their analyst target mean price is 357.36, although I do expect it to be going higher. Their P.E. ratio is 31.6. Year-to-date, they're up 30%. Over one year, they're up 127%. And I've been in and out of this stock multiple times in the last year just taking swing trades out of it. Everything is going well. Their tattle ratio is 1.23. Revenue growth last year was down just a little bit. Revenue growth forecast this year is going to be up 7.1%. The net income margin is solid at 9.3% and their levered free cash flow is very good at 15.7%. And if we look at their trend, it's just looking good, healthy, just like we see all the time on the stocks that I love to get into. And what else can we see? We can see that I've got a trail stop on this at 7% and that's because this stock is not as volatile as some of the others. So my trail stop is only at 7%. So it would have to pull back down to this range right here where this line is. We'll call that about 323, 324. And then I would be getting out of this stock. Again, a great stock. I've been in and out of it and I may even load up more on it as well. All right. Our question of the day is, what does it mean to buy the dip? Buying the dip follows the basic investment principle of buy low, sell high. That being said, there are two important parts for buying the dip. Number one, a considerable decline in stock prices. And number two, a strong reason to believe the stock 
stocks will go back up. Sadly, most investors see the dip but forget number two, which is that strong reason to believe the stock is really going to go back up. For my own personal investing, I had a third step and I want to see the stocks moving back up before I buy. And the reason is because if you are just blindly buying the dip, you're trying to catch a falling knife without knowing how far it's going to fall. All right, my top three picks for today are number one, Kulik and Safa Industries. Number two, Deere and Company. That's that famous John Deere tractor company. I already own them, love the stock, and it's doing really well. And number three is Louisiana Pacific Corporation. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and be sure to take advantage of the free Weevil stock offer where you get two free stocks worth up to $1,800 just for signing up and funding your account with $100. Plus it helps the channel because I get one free stock just for you signing up, so I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to receive my trade alerts, daily hot stocks and follow my high growth portfolios, then join me on Patreon. Peace and I'll see you soon.